All right, thank you for joining my channel. Today I'd like to um, show you a few stamps that have been over printed. Second World War stamps, part of the sort of propaganda bat battle that was fought. In a, when there's war, there's tend to be propaganda. Both sides are pushing out information, trying to de um, push their views, derogate the other side. Um, and so even today, you've got people saying that YouTube is used by the Russians or whoever to influence uh, elections. And so propaganda is always very important. If you thought of, um, if you'd like to read George Orwell's 1984, which is about a totalitarian state, the big thing is to control the narrative, control the ideas that are being put out there. So that you control the narrative, you control the minds of the people. They've got no other views. They're the only view they've got is the state's view. And so totalitarian states tend to try to control the narrative, control the information that people get so that they can control the people. And propaganda is used both in uh, both sides, even the West in, um, in wars, they will use propaganda to push their views and try to subvert any information come from the other side so that only one view is um, shown. So let's have a look, this one here, I've recently got, it is a Czechoslovakian field post. It's um, the free Czechs in Britain. When Czechoslovakia was invaded, a number of Czechs, especially pilots, came over to Britain to fight against the Germans in Britain. And so a lot of uh, pilots were Czechs in Britain. Here we've got the stamp of the Czechoslovakian free post. And it's got an English stamps and it's to, to be somebody in Don, Doncaster. And there you got a British stamp there. So as a way of, this could well be a flat, palatical, is that the word? One made just for stamp collectors or it might have been just one for a bit of propaganda about the Czechs, Czech free army. These ones are German, well, these ones are German ones. They had to do with invasion of Russia. Wir sind frei, so we are free. And it's got the swastika saying it's saying that these are German stamps over laid but they're showing that there's Dan of oh, the Danzig stamps it's and it's saying that freedom comes with the Nazi party. Bit ironic, but there you go. And so again it, it's pushing that message that the German Nazi party was giving you freedom. Now these are overprints. These are West German stamps of the start of the war, 1946. So they got the Deutsche Post on there, German Post. So these aren't issued by the Nazi controlled um, post office, but by the West when they've conquered or liberated Germany from the Nazis. So these are 1946 and it says Auschwitz, the German concentration camp that killed many Jews, the skull and crossbones of the SS on it. 
And these are part of the propaganda saying, you know, reminding people of the horrors of Germany because um, many Germans didn't know about, the ordinary Germans didn't know about the concentration camps. So it was a bit of a shock when they suddenly found out that these things had happened under their name. So this is probably a reminder. And again, it's part of propaganda, part of the denazification of Germany, because when the Allies took over Germany, they tried to get rid of all symbols of Nazism, like they would, the stamps, they would have a black spot that would be put over the face of Hitler on the stamps or crosses over the face of stamps, trying to obliterate his face or spots over the um, swastika symbol. Again, trying to denazificate um, the system. Um, when I was doing, I learned a little bit of German at, at a English uh, evening class. And it was done by a, a German lady who was old enough to know about the Second World War. And she said, it, they used to say it was like whitewashing, uh, sorry, like being put in a wa washing machine, you're supposed to be, become cleaner than clean again. You're, you're supposed to, all the dirt of Nazism was supposed to be uh, washed out of you and you'll be a new person. So it was part of this denazification, trying to get rid of and show the horrors that the Nazi party did. Well, I hope that helps you and uh, is of interest. Please subscribe if you haven't and give it a like. That all helps my little channel that's still growing around. And I hope you like this and look at my other videos which I do on various historical and other um, topics. So please go and see those if you're into this sort of information about history and other items. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.